What's happening, everybody? It's Sean with Reactions to the Classics. And as you see below, we got a first time reaction to the Mountain Goats and their song, Love, 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 brought to us by friend, longtime supporter, and patron of the channel, Caitlin. Thank you, Caitlin. You always bring us great stuff. Never even heard of the Mountain Goats. So let's dive into them a little bit before we get into the song. They're an American band formed in Claremont, California by singer-songwriter John Darnell. For many years, the sole member of the Mountain Goats was Darnell, despite the plural moniker. I always like that when they... That's what I would do, man, if I was some sort of famous musician or some sort of solo artist. Just go by a group name or a different name. Gives you that little anonymity. Kind of cool. The band's name's a reference to the Screaming Jay Hawkins song, Yellow Coat. Darnell released his first recording as the Mountain Goats in 1991, so he has been around for quite some time. The song itself is from the 2005 album, The Sunset Tree. And John actually talks about this, uh, this song itself in an NPR interview back in 2005. The point of the song is, you know, that we are fairly well damaged by the legacy of the romantic poets, that we think of love as this, you know, the thing that is accompanied by strings and it's forced for good. And if something bad happens, then it's not love. In the therapeutic tradition that I come from, I used to work in therapy, you know, also says that it's not love if it feels bad. I don't know so much about that. I don't know that the Greeks weren't right. I think they were, that love could eat a path through everything, that it will destroy a lot of things on the way to its own objective, which is just its expression of itself, you know. I mean, my stepfather loved his family, right? Now, he mistreated us terribly quite often, but he loved us. And you know, well, that to me is something worth commenting on in the hopes of undoing a lot of what I perceive as terrible damage in the way people talk about this. Love is this benign, comfortable force. It's not that. It's wild, you know. That's quite the quote that I would like to share some thoughts on. Let me listen to the song first, and maybe those thoughts will come out through that. I'll have the lyrics up, as always. Thanks again, Caitlin. King Saul fell on his sword when it all went wrong And Joseph's brothers sold him down the river for a song And Sonny Liston rubbed some tiger balm into his glove Some things you do for money And some you do for love, love, love Raskolnikov felt sick, but he couldn't say why When he saw his face reflected in his victim's twinkling eye Some things you'll do for money, and some you'll do for fun But the things you do for love are gonna come back to you one by one Love, love is gonna lead you by the hand Into a white and soundless place Now we see things As in a mirror dimly Then we shall see each other face to face And way out in Seattle, young Kurt Cobain Snuck out to the greenhouse, put a bullet in his brain Snakes in the grass beneath our feet, rain in the clouds above Some moments last forever, but some flare out with love, love, love Love, love, love. The Mountain Goats, Mr. John Darnell. You know, this song isn't very long, but he doesn't waste a line. Like, there's no line in here that's just there to rhyme with something or be melodic, man. And, and he just breaks it down in verse one, talks about King Saul falling on his sword and Joseph's brother sold him down the river for a song. And Sonny Liston rubbed some tiger balm into his glove. In the fourth round of his famous fight with, with Muhammad Ali, 
his cut man put something on there so he could try to cheat all we want anyway. Some things you do for money and some things you do for love, love, love. Uh, so obviously Liston did that for money. And then second verse, but the things you do for love are going to come back to you one by one. And then the bridge, love, love is going to lead you by the hand into a white and soundless place. Now we see things as in a mirror then we shall, shall see things other each other face to face, which is 1 Corinthians 12, 3. It's a biblical reference. You know, he starts out talking about Saul and Joseph from the Bible. And way out in Seattle, young Kurt Cobain snuck out to the greenhouse, put a bullet in his brain, snake in the grass between our, or beneath our feet. Not talking about a real snake, talking about people, right, who are deceptive. Rain in the clouds above. Some moments last forever, but some flare out with love, love, love. And some people think he's talking about Courtney Love there, but in the Cobain reference, but I don't know. I, here's an interesting thing, and I think he's right about this, right? We, I mean, this sounds so cliche, but we romanticize love, right? But love can be a very painful thing. That's where he gets uh, the love is going to lead you by the hand into a white and soundless place. Like Love, while it's the greatest thing you can experience, it's also the most painful thing you can experience, right? Whether it's a relationship breaking up or losing someone you love to, to death or to whatever. So it, it's a double-edged sword, right? But we romanticize it like, once you fall in love, man, everything's going to be the greatest thing ever. And then when it's not, we start thinking there's something broke with the love and with that person when really that's just life, man. There's ups and downs and you got to work through things. So I really enjoyed this song. So much depth to it. Enjoyed the delivery. Not a lot of instrumentation. Doesn't need to be. You just get lost in the lyrics, man. Fantastic choice, Caitlin. Really appreciate that. I'm going to check out maybe this album since I kind of dig this song. That's probably where... I'll start out at, but if you want to be like Kate, want to support us in any way, check out the Patreon link below or the link on the end screen. The patrons make this thing go. Also, give us a subscribe if you haven't already. We greatly appreciate it. And check out our Facebook group linked below. Just a bunch of music people talking music every single day. Until next time, guys, I will see you.